the Republic P47 Thunderbolt, also known as the Juggernaut, or just the Jug. It was called this for account of its weight. Eight tons this aircraft weighed when it was fully fueled and armed. That's almost double other aircraft of a similar nature during that period of the later years of the Second World War. It was designed to take on the later marks of Messerschmitt 109 and particularly the Focke-Wulf 190. 2,300 horsepower was produced by its Pratt & Whitney double wasp engine. It was supercharged and catch this thing in the dive and it was capable of 550 miles an hour. If you were a German and you saw this thing in your rear view mirror in the dive, you know you'd be in a lot of trouble. Not only was this aircraft incredibly powerful and fast, it was also an incredible powerhouse when it came to armament. Eight 50 caliber machine guns. You wouldn't need to hit very much in order to be able to incapacitate another aeroplane. Not only did it prove itself as an air superiority fighter and escort fighter, but at the later years of the war, and after D-Day, as you can tell with the D-Day stripes on the wings, it proved itself in the ground attack role as well, strafing enemy trains and destroying aircraft on airfields on the ground. The Juggernaut, for me, is an incredible aircraft. And absolutely hands down better than anything with jets. Arthur's going to try and convince you that the Thunderbolt is the best ground attack aircraft in the world. Behind me is the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II. This aircraft is awesome. It has double redundancy in all of its systems. Two engines. The wing is designed to protect the pilot and the engines from ground fire. And the entire aircraft is built around one thing. The 30 millimeter Gatling gun. The Gatling gun produces titanium tip shells and these are designed to do one thing, beat Russian tanks. Arthur, your eight bristling guns is nowhere near my depleted uranium shells coming out of my Gatling gun on the front of this beautiful jet. I don't need to say any more. The E10 Thunderbolt 2 is far better than the Thunderbolt.